In trigonometry, it is common to use mnemonics to help remember trigonometric identities and the relationships between the various trigonometric functions. For example, the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios in a right triangle can be remembered by representing them as strings of letters. For instance, SOHCAH TOA in English. Sine equals opposite divided by hypotenuse cosine equals adjacent divided by hypotenuse tangent equals opposite divided by adjacent One way to remember the letters is to sound them out phonetically. Another method is to expand the letters into a sentence, such as, Some old houses can always hide their old age. Communities exposed to Chinese dialect may choose to remember it as Toa, C-A-H-S-O-H, which also means big-footed woman, in Hokkien, Azales mnemonic. Azales mnemonic is an alternative mnemonic to S-O-H-C-A-H Toa for people who have different names for the legs of a triangle, i.e., perpendicular for opposite and base for adjacent. Azales mnemonic goes like this. Some people have curly black hairs through proper brushing. Here, some people have is for sine equals perpendicular, hypotenuse, curly black hairs is for cosine equals base, hypotenuse, and through proper brushing is for tangent equals perpendicular, base. Mnemonic chart. Another mnemonic permits all of the basic identities to be read off quickly, although the word part of the mnemonic used to build the chart does not hold in English. The chart itself is fairly easy to reconstruct with a little thought. Reading from the 1, dividing by any edge of the hexagon equals the opposite side gives reciprocal identities. Reading down by adding the tops of any triangle gives the standard identities. Reading from a function and dividing its two consecutive clockwise or counterclockwise neighbors gives these identities. Reading from a function, it equals the product of two nearest neighbors giving these identities.